Thank you so much, Professor Falola. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a very great honor and privilege to be here this morning to be part of this very important program. Uh, first of all, let me thank uh, Professor Falola for the honor of this invitation and also other members of the organizing committee. I feel so delighted to be here. And I want to also thank you all for doing us proud and being part of the celebration of one of the iconist artists that Nigeria and Africa have ever produced. Uh, I bring you greetings from the government and people of Nigeria. And on behalf of the Department of History, the University of Texas at Austin, the John Warfield Center for African and African American Studies of the same university, and the Center for Black and African Art and Civilization, Lagos, Nigeria, I greet you all once again. It is my pleasure to present a book and an award to one of Nigeria's creative treasures, Baba Adele Jagede. <laughs> Let me invite Professor Adele Jagede to please come forward while others remain seated. <laughs> And please reserve your full applause until after the presentation of the book and the distinguished award given with the approval of relevant authorities here. Yeah. It is an undeniable fact that Professor Dili Jagede's career has been one of very stellar achievements. Not only has he engaged in the academic study of art in its historical development and stylistic context, he has also created an inimitable mode of expression through his representational style of painting. As a painter, cartoonist, and educator, Professor Jagede has brought nothing but glory to the art and the art world. His work continuously attempts to disrupt the canonical imbalance in the historicization of text by privileging the African and the black perspective. As a painter, he employs a variety of media to inveigh against economic constructs that perpetuate the subaltern condition of the underclass. As a cartoonist, he dresses acerbic issues in palatable coats for public consumption, as is often at the expense of the strong and the powerful in society. As an educator, he relishes motivating students to be respectful in the essence of divergency, even as they seek to contribute to knowledge. His work generally attempts to rupture the boundaries that are installed in the way that we construct and affirm selfhood. Even though it is impossible to cover every phase of this giant, Professor Jagede's extensive successful career, it is imperative at this juncture for me to give an overview of the inspirational and exemplary nature of the career of this iconic artist of African descent. Professor Jagede got his bachelor's degrees degree in fine art, first class honors, at the Amadou Bello University Zaria, Nigeria in 1973, before getting his master's degree and PhD in art, in art history at Indiana University in 1981 and 1983, respectively. He has taught and developed numerous courses in studio art and art history from introductory to graduate level at art institutions in Nigeria and the United States. The institutions where he taught, or he has taught, and some of which are still teaching, include Yaba College of Technology, Lagos, where I taught drawing and African art history, University of Lagos, Nigeria, where I taught African art history, Indiana University, Bloomington, and Spelman College, Atlanta, Georgia, where I taught African art history, Indiana State University, where I taught survey and African American African art history, and Miami University of Fort Ohio, where I taught African American African art history. He has hundreds of cartoons published in many Nigerian magazines and newspapers. They include Pocket Cartoon in Sunday Times between 1972 and 1974, Collie Dimenez in Sunday Times between 1975 and 1979, Collie's World in Sunday Times between 1984 and 1989, Dele's Opinion in Times International 1974 to 1976, Dele Jagede in Sunday Times between 1975 and 1985, several illustrations and magazine covers between 1974 and 1977, and funny cuts 
of which he was the originator, the contributor and editor in Sunday Concord of July 1991 to February 1992. As an artist, he has had so many solo and group exhibitions. His solo exhibitions include peregrinations, a solo exhibition of drawings and paintings, which was held at Lagos in Nikkei Art Gallery, April 30th to May 12, 2011. New works, Daily Jagede at the Coleman Center for Arts and Culture between November 1st and December 6, 2006. Fertilizer at High Stand Galleries, October 31st to November 22, 2005. Ecore, meaning this is Lagos, at the Italian Cultural Institute, October 19 to November 2, 1991. Ba Paradise Battered at the National Theatre Nigeria, July 4 to 18, 1986, and numerous others. In most of his paintings, Baba Dilejagede satirizes his society, not just by drawing his themes from happenings within, but by approximating the collective yearnings of his people for better life and improved social order. The Adventures of Kole Dimenis, which uh, Moyo Kediji earlier alluded to, in his cartoon strips in the Daily Times newspapers in the early 1970s, where he was the arts editor and his editorial cartoons, perhaps more than any of his other creative interests, exposed and endeared him to a great number of people, especially in Nigeria and other parts of Africa. His tenure as president of the Society of Nigerian Artists between 1989 and 1992, and director of Center for Cultural Studies, University of Lagos, between 1989 and 1992, also recorded some re remarkable achievements. The registration of the then 26-year-old hitherto unregistered society was accomplished in addition to the injection of a new wave of dynamism into the activities of the society. He contributed greatly to the transformation of the Center for Cultural Studies and the Department of Creative Art of the University of Lagos. I happen to know because I'm also part of that system. <laughs> the image of the artist as a first-class intellectual was well advanced by Baba Deli Degede's personality in the Nigerian art space. To him, the artist is not just the creative person, known only for churning out work from the studio. As important as this aspect is, the artist, he believes, is more than that. He is many times, or she is many times, more gifted than the average person. The artist is a visionary, a scholar, a philosopher, a progressive and universal entity. In addition to a vibrant studio practice, his other numerous interests capture his image of the versatility of the average artist. A great African scholar with astute diagnostic and prognostic insight, Delija Gede, in his chapter, in a book published by the Center over which I preside, that is the Center for Black and African Art and Civilization, titled African Unity, the Cultural Foundations, which was first published in 1988. In that chapter, titled African Art, The Limits of Tribality, Professor Jagede interrogates the pejorative and suffocating mindset of constrictions imposed by Western scholars on contemporary African art, where they deny African art of its dynamism while grudgingly acknowledging its past contributions and anchoring its contemporaneous essence on the glories of a distant past. Definitely, more attestations to Professor Jagede's phenomenal academic fecundity will be highlighted by other speakers in the course of this conference. Professor Jagede, in addition to ex his exhibitions, has also been engaged in curatorial work. His list of curatorial work includes Offerings from the Gods, which was uh, done uh, through the Lagos State Chapter of the Society of Nigerian Artists, National Theatre Lagos, June to July 1985. Art by Metamorphosis, African Art in the Collection of Spellman College, Atlanta, Georgia, December 1988. Images of the Nigerian Nation by Society of Nigerian Artists, National Theatre, Lagos, October 1990. Contemporary African Art, Five Artists, Diverse Strengths in the Police Museum of Art, 2000, and many others. Professor Jagede's list of publications in journals and books is also very, very extensive. His latest three publications include, first, Bruce Onobra Pear, one of our very well-known uh, artists, Mask of the Flaming Arrows, a critical analysis of Honor Payer's works. The second, of course, is visual expressivity in the art of the black diaspora, conjunctures and disjunctures. While the third is convergence and spirituality issue in Lagos. Professor Jagede also brings his professional commitments to bear on the association that he's a member of. 
He serves on the editorial board of Journal of Pan-African Studies and is editorial advisor in Journal of Contemporary African Art. He's also a member of the African Studies Association Art Council of the African Studies Association, College Art Association, and National Association of Schools of Art and Design. Not surprisingly, this iconic artist has won many honors and awards during his illustrious career. He was honored with the Smithsonian Senior Postdoctoral Research Grant Washington, D.C., in 1995, a Cancer Traveling Award for Cultural Preservation, Art and Archaeology in Africa Program, 1992, Fulbright Scholar in Residence at Spelman College, Atlanta, Georgia, 1987 to 1988, Central Research Grant of the University of Lagos in 1984, first prize of an F. Lilly Memorial History of Art Lecture Series in Indiana, Indiana University, Bloomington, 1982, Nigeria Art Council Prize for the Best Final Year Student in the Department of Finance, ABU, 1973, TFSU Prize for the Best Final Year Student in Painting, 1973, Yusuf Grillo Prize for the Best All and Final Year Student in Drawing, 1973, and First Prize Guinness All Nigeria Higher Institution Painting Contest, 1972. Professor Jagada is presently a professor in the Department of Art, Miami University, Oxford, Ohio, a position he has held since 2010. He was chair and professor of the Department of Art, Indiana State University, August 2002 to May 2005. Interim chair, Department of Art, July 2001 to 2002. Director of Center for Cultural Studies, University of Lagos, which I mentioned earlier. Art editor, Daily Times of Nigeria, July 1974 to 1977. President, Society of Nigerian Artists, November 1989 to November 1992. And President, Art Council of the African Studies Association, November 1996 to 1998. Like many of his contemporaries, who for one reason or the other are now located in the diaspora, and like the patriot that he is, Professor Dele Jagede keeps on giving back to his beloved country through lectures, exhibitions, mentoring, and visits. In a 2012 lecture under the auspices of the National Gallery of Art in Nigeria, which was held in Calabar, he addressed the deplorable conditions that incidentally foretold the current ongoing academic staff union of university strike in Nigeria. Professor Jagede is also a philanthropist. We may not know that. He gives his time and mentoring freely to those requesting him from him. I have privileged information of his pledge to donate books to the Department of Creative Arts, University of Lagos. Such an offer could not have come at a better time than now when the Nigeria educational system is in dire need of support from all patriots. It is on this note, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, that I fervently pray that his tribe increases and wish him many more creative and fruitful years of service to his country, Nigeria, and to humanity at large. Professor Dele Jagede, no, no doubt, represents the best in all of us. He is our beloved son in whom we are well placed. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have the privilege of presenting to you the book written in the honor of this great scholar, artist, extraordinaire. Ah, first of all, you have to... <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's on that? Oh, okay, yes, yes, the award is there, yes. So let me first of all show you the book. The hard cover and the soft cover. And you will agree with me that it looks beautiful. On behalf, my wife. My wife. yes, I am sorry there is a very costly omission. I'd like to invite, <laughs> I'd like to invite uh, Professor Dele Jagere's better half, Mrs. Dele Jagere, to join us on this uh, occasion. Okay, first of all, I, I'd like to present to you this book, written in your honor, as a mark of recognition of your contribution to the art and to humanity. Congratulations. Secondly, I've been mandated to also present to you 
this award. On behalf of the University of Texas at Austin, I present to Professor Dele Jagede the Distinguished Africanist Award in recognition of your sustained and distinguished contributions to research and the promotion of African affairs. Today, September 20th, <laughs> or 21st, 20. 2013. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. My task is done. Uh, okay. There's no way that. Asia. Asia. You are the chair of this session. Asia. You are empty. You are empty.